Hello, hello, good evening. Hey, hi, Claudia. Hi, good evening. Good evening. How are you? With a headache. With a headache? Really? Yes. Okay, so have you had a busy day? Very busy. <laughs> a very busy day. Mm. Yeah, I imagine. I imagine. <laughs> okay. Well, but the good thing is that it's already night, right? So you can go ahead and try to relax a little bit. A little bit. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Claudia. Well, good evening, uh, Norma, Carlos, Vladimir, Pablo, Mauricio. Let me see. Okay, Norma. Got it. All right. So we are going to start with today's class. And well, today we are going to start with the warm up. Then we are going to move to grammar, which is unit two. And today we are going to learn how to make suggestions. Okay, that is going to be the topic for today. And we are going to have a speaking time and reading time as well. We have a couple of quizzes, right? Um, grammar quizzes and also listening quizzes. But first, we are going to start with a stop the bus. All right, we are going to start with a stop the bus. And this time, we are going to play with item in the kitchen, food, and verb in the past. Okay, those three those three categories. So I will give you the letter and you need to look for the item in the kitchen, the food and the verb in the past, okay? That it starts with that letter, yeah? So the first letter that we are going to play with is going to be letter P, all right? Letter P, I'll give you one minute, okay, per letter. So letter P is the first letter, yeah? Item in the kitchen, food and verb in the past. That starts with that letter, ¿ok? Como bachillerato stop, que comience con esa letra. Ok, Pablo. Got it. Okay, so let's see. Do you have an item in the kitchen that starts with the letter P? No, no item? Pizza cutter? Pot. Okay, yes, pot, okay, yes. What about food? Pizza. Pizza, Pancake. right. Pancake, correct. And verb in the past? Put. Put. Very good. All right, excellent. Okay, another, another letter. Okay, with the letter, let me see. Uh, with the letter F. This one is easy, letter F. Item in the kitchen, food, and verb in the past. With the letter F. Uh-huh. Okay, let's see, item in the kitchen. Fork. Fork. Food. Frozen. Uh, okay, could be, yes. And verb in the past. Feel. Uh, feel, uh, felt. Feel. Uh -huh. Okay, yes, felt. 
right felt. Yeah. Okay, very good. The last one. Okay, one more. The last one. Okay, with the letter uh, S. Letter S. Yeah, item in the kitchen, food, and bird in the past. Kitchen, so. Okay, item in the kitchen, so. Oh. Okay, yes, could be, uh-huh, food. Spaghetti. Spaghetti, very good. And verb in the past? So. Yes, so, perfect, all right, very good. Okay, let's move, let's continue. Okay, so we are going to start with conversation time. Yeah, so we are going to study the first one. What did you drink this morning? Okay, tea, coffee, or milk? Let's see. Uh, Maris, what did you drink this morning? Tea, coffee, or milk? Um, for me, I drink coffee okay. in the morning. Yeah, so I drank. I drank. Coffee in the morning. Very good. I drank. Okay. Yes. What about you, Claudia? What did you drink this morning? I drank coffee. Coffee as well. Okay. What about you, Emerson? What did you drink this morning? I drank coffee in the morning. Perfect. What about you, George? What did you drink? I drank coffee in the morning. Perfect. And you, Jose Bernardo, what did you drink? I drank a cup of coffee. Perfect. Okay. So, and what about you, Carla Sofia? What did you drink? Maybe she's not there. Carlos Vladimir, what did you drink this morning? I drank tea. You drank tea. Okay. Perfect. So now, let me ask you, Eduardo, do you always eat vegetables and fruits? Uh, no, always no. I I eat the vegetable. Uh, usually. 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 Oh, okay, Carla. All right. What about you? Um, let me see. Okay, let me let me see. Yeah, Jose, do you always eat vegetables and fruits or no? Uh, vegetables every day, but fruits mm, sometimes. Sometimes. Okay, perfect. What about you, Emerson? How often do you eat bread? I think that you said usually, okay? Yeah. I always. Always, okay. You always yes. eat bread. And you, Maurice, how often do you eat bread? Always in the morning. In the morning, okay, very good. And you, George, how often do you eat bread? Mm. Usually. Yes. Do you usually eat bread? Okay. Yes. All right. And Jose, do you like seafood? Uh, no, no. No? I don't like seafood, no. Okay. And you, Claudia, do you like seafood? I love seafood. Okay, and you, George, do you like seafood? It's my favorite food. Okay, perfect. Emerson, what about you? Do you like seafood? Yes, I like. You seafood. do. Okay, and you, Morris, do you like seafood? Yes, I like. You do like seafood. Seafood, yeah, and the weekend, it's. Oh, okay, on the weekend. All right, perfect. Excellent. All right, so let's see, let's continue, guys. Okay, so it says that we need to match the words with the picture. Okay, what is this? Chocolate bar. Chocolate, Chocolate bar. bar, yes. And what about this one, number two? Pancakes. Okay. Yes, pancakes. And what about number three? Donut. 
Yes, this one is a donut, right? What about number four? Ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream. Yes, what about number five? Cookies. Cookies, yes, those are cookies. And number six? Pie. 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 And what about number seven? Candies. 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 And number eight? Cake. Cake. Excellent. Okay, what about this one? It says, now choose the best words to complete the phrases below. Okay, so there can be more than one answer. So let's see. Number one, a pack of. Mm -hmm. What is yes? Okay, a pack of cookies. What else? Candies. Candies. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. What about a bar of chocolate? Chocolate. Right. Correct. What about a scoop? of ice cream ice cream very good okay and what about number four a piece of or a slice of cake cake, cake. very cake. good uh -huh. yes do you like ice creams yes i like yes you do okay yes i do uh -huh. okay Okay, yes, delicious, right? Mm -hmm. Do you like donuts? Donuts? No? So, so. So, so. Okay. All right. So, what about candies? Do you like candies? Don't like uh, candy. No, I don't. You don't, okay? Well, yeah, sometimes, maybe. I'm... Okay, all right, let's move. Okay, let's move. Now, um, let me ask you those questions, okay? Listen to the first one. What sweet food is round and sometimes has a hole in the middle? A donut. A donut, okay, number two. Do you always eat vegetables and fruits? Why or why not? In this in this case, Tatiana, let me ask you this one. Do you always eat vegetables and fruits? Tatiana? Hi, teacher. Yes. Do you always eat vegetables and fruits? Yes. I yes. always... I always uh, eat fruit. Okay, very good. Now, number three, guys, which is correct? A bar or a slice of chocolate? Uh, ch chocolate bar. A bar of chocolate or chocolate bar, okay. Number four, what sweet food do people sometimes eat for breakfast? Pancake. Pancakes, okay? Yes, very good. Uh -huh. Now, what about this one? Number uh, four, okay? What do we call a bowl of ice cream? How do we call it? Uh -huh. Do you remember about the vocabulary at the beginning? What do we call a bowl of ice cream? We call it a, a scoop of a ice scoop cream. Of ice cream, correct? Okay. A scoop. Yeah. Uh -huh. A scoop. Yeah. So, what about this one? What do people put candles on when it's someone's birthday? Cake. Cake. That is correct, okay? And number three, what can you buy a pack of cookies or a bar of cookies? A pack of cookies. A pack, a cookie. pack of cookies, very good. Uh -huh. And the last one, if you don't want to eat a lot of pie, do you ask for a small piece or 
a small pack. Small piece. Correct. That is correct. Uh -huh. Very good. All right. So then let's continue. Okay. And let's move to the book. All right. So I need two volunteers. Please, um, Jose, you are going to be Sarah. And George, please be Walter. Okay. So let's read first the conversation. Okay. About a staff meeting. Okay. Uh, we need to create the main steps to include in the manual to train our staff. What do you propose? Mm -hmm. First, servers need to know the correct way to present the menu. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't it better if chapter one is about how servers should greet the customers and after that, how they need to present the menu? Actually, I would be better if we include the server's dress call and appearance in the first chapter. Okay, now let me ask you, is there a manual with procedures in your workplace? Is there a manual for you to follow procedures? Uh, yes. Yes, there is, right? Mm -hmm. Do you think this manual can be improved? Yes or no? Or maybe? Could be. Uh -huh. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's see. As you can see right here, guys, on this lesson, what we are going to be focusing on is, wouldn't it be better? It would be better. Right, those are the grammar structures that we are going to learn today, okay? So first of all, let's talk about some definitions and the structure, okay? So let's see, um, George, help us reading uh, the first one, this one, it will be better, yeah, this one, and then uh, other expressions, please, Emerson. It will be better to let employees decide what processes to change. Yeah. I will be better to let a manager take care of the situation. Yes. Other expressions to provide suggestions or alternatives. Would you prefer? Wouldn't it be better too? It will be good if. Okay. This will be good if we had a professional to complete the, the manual. The manual, okay. Now, this word is pronounced suggestions, yeah? Suggestions, yes? Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's start the structures, okay? Let's start with the structures. So we have the first one, subject plus would prefer plus two, plus verb, plus complement. Whenever we are talking about preferences, so this one is the first sentence, okay? Subject plus would prefer, plus two, plus the verb, plus the complement. And we have, I would prefer to eat salad. I would prefer to eat salad, yeah? So number two. Subject would be better to verb plus complement. Now we say, it would be better to go to the cinema. Mm -hmm. So, and the last one, it is subject plus would be good if subject verb in past plus complement. Yeah. And we say, it would be nice if we had past, if we had a supervisor in that area, yeah? So let me ask you guys, if we say, I would prefer to eat salad, we are saying, what are we saying? Mm -hmm. 
que preferimos comer ensalada? Ok. Yo prefiero comer ensalada. Okay. What about number two? If we say it would be better to go to the cinema, what are we saying? Sería mejor. Sería mejor. Sería mejor que fuéramos al cine. Al cine. Yes, options, right? Choices. And the last one, it would be nice if we had a supervisor in that area. What are we saying? Sería bueno, Sería bueno si, si tuviéramos un supervisor, un supervisor en, en esa área. área. Correct. Okay, perfect. Excellent. Yeah. So those are the three types of structures that we are going to study today. Yeah. We also have questions. But right now, we need to understand those three first. All right. So what I need to do is the following. I need to please create one sentence for each structure. This is alone. Okay. Yourself. Yeah. So one with this one, one sentence with this one, and one with this one. Yeah, so one, one, and one. Yeah, you have, uh, I will give you five minutes, okay? Once you are done, please send them to the chat. Las envía aquí al chat, okay? Cuando ya termine. Okay, so there you go, um, Emerson. Okay, it should be Maria would prefer to go to a trip on holidays. Okay, let me see. I will prefer to eat first. Okay. And let me prefer first. Okay. 
Eh, Maris, you are missing some parts. Le hace falta algunas partes de la estructura. It would be better. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Por no. ahí okay. It would be better. Emerson, también le hacen falta algunas partes de la estructura. En la número dos. She shall would be good. Okay, number three would be good at at soccer. At the preposition should be at. Okay, Eduardo, I would prefer to yes, correct. Okay, let me see. We also have Juan Jose, okay. Okay, I would prefer to go home now. It's late, yes. It will be it will be better to run in yes. It will be good if you try to yes, perfect. Jose, I would prefer to drink coffee. Yes. It will be better to buy a new, a new cell phone right now. Yes. Number three, it will be better if we went to Colombia Christmas. Yes. Okay. Uh, but that one is not a question, right? That one is a normal sentence. Okay. Eduardo, it will be better to go to is yes. It will be better to go to the Yes, Maurice. Very good. Okay. Claudia, John would prefer to go to the beach on Sunday. Yes. Very good. It will be better to change the date. Yes. Very good, Claudia. Uh, Carlos, I would prefer. Mm. Okay, in this case, uh, Carlos Vladimir. Falta to go, to go, to go. Yes. Yes. Okay. Me lo comí. All right. Yes. I would prefer uh, Jorge. Uh, George, prefer just with one F. Okay. I would prefer to play basketball. It will be better to watch TV. It will be good if I travel. Yes, yes. It will be good if we walked every day. Yes, very good, Eduardo. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, let's continue, right? So those are with those structures, okay? Now let's move and let's study questions, right? So in this case, we have two, right? We have would plus subject plus preferred to plus verb plus complement. And we have the example. Would you prefer to drink soda or tea? Yeah, would you prefer to drink soda or tea? And we have wouldn't it be? plus adjective, plus two. So we have, wouldn't it be nice to go to Santa Ana? Wouldn't it be nice to go to Santa Ana? What are we saying? What are we saying with the first one? Would you prefer to drink soda or tea? That one is a question, right? So we are asking, preferiría Tomar soda o té. Prefiere tomar soda o té. Right? And on, on number two, wouldn't it be nice to go to Santa Ana? What are we saying? Sería como, no, no sería bueno ir a Santa Ana. Correct. Like, no sería bueno ir a Santa Ana. ¿Mm? In a question. No sería lindo ir a Santa Ana. No sería... Lindo, right? No sería bueno, no sería lindo. Uh -huh. O no me gustaría ir. Mm, no, no me gustaría ir, no. No, en ese caso es una pregunta. Entonces vamos a decir, uh, no sería bueno ir a Santa Ana. ¿Mm? Wouldn't it be nice to go to Santa Ana? Uh, también podemos utilizar otros adjetivos, right? We need to use other adjectives. For example, wouldn't it be better to buy 
more eggs. No sería mejor que compráramos más huevos. No sería mejor que compráramos más tomates. Wouldn't it be better to buy more tomatoes? ¿Ya? Ese no sería mejor que puede ir con el wouldn't it be y el adjetivo better. ¿Ya? No sería mejor que. Yeah. Only change nice. Yes, you only, yes, you only change nice uh, for better. Okay. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Uh -huh. So in this case, um, we can also say, wouldn't it be amazing, fantastic, cool, right? Uh -huh. Yeah, you can use other adjectives. Mm -hmm. Even negative adjectives, right? Like, wouldn't it be sad for him? No sería eso triste para él, right? Mm -hmm. Wouldn't it be stressful, right? Etc. You can change the adjective, right? So now let's move and let's now create one question for each structure, okay? I'll give you uh, five minutes, okay? Yeah, one question for each structure. Let's see. Would you prefer to install? Mm -hmm. Wouldn't it be better to revise the manual? Perfect. Yes, Juan Jose. Excellent. I have a question about the second question. Mm -hmm. Because that is an answer in a platform, but mark to la marca como mala, no sé cómo decir eso. In the platform? Yes. Yes, me too. Mm -hmm. Yes, um, the platform actually has some things that they need to correct, okay? So, um, I know, okay, but that one is correct in that way. It is. We already reported it, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's the same with the uh, number five. That's the, the question. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That is correct, yeah. Uh, you know, we already reported it. Uh, we reported that, but um, I think that they are working on it. They should be working on it. Right? Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Number five. Number five. Is it better to let them under it? Yes, that one is correct as well. I mean, yes. Yes, those are correct. Would you prefer to it first? Would you prefer to eat Oh, fish probably. Maurice, fish or hamburger? Wouldn't wouldn't eat. Okay. Le falta el eat, Maurice. Yeah. Huh? Okay. yeah. Would they prefer to eat tacos or pizza? Wouldn't wouldn't it be cool to visit your grandparents? Very good, Jose. Yes. Would you prefer to travel to Europe? Okay, to Europe, to Europe, to Europe. 
to Europe. Okay. Okay. All right, so I think that we're still missing some. Wouldn't it be better to go to Usulutan? Okay, and the question mark, y el signo de interrogación, okay? Uh, yeah. Jonathan, would yeah. you prefer to go to the beach or mountains for next vacation? Okay. Wouldn't it be amazing to go to the cinema, the cinema next Saturday? Okay, all right. Just an observation, guys. Uh, remember that with uh, the days of the week, we use capital letter at the beginning, okay? Okay? Con los días de la semana, porque son nombres propios. They are proper nouns. Would, would he prefer to come chess? To play chess? At none. Would it be better? To visit, right? To visit. Okay. Wouldn't it be better to visit Cancun in the summer? Uh -huh. Wouldn't it be better to visit Cancun in the summer? Uh -huh. In that way. Okay, let's continue, guys. Okay, so we're going to start with a speaking questions. You are going to practice with your partners. So we have a couple of questions um, by using, what would you prefer to have? Cat or dog? Yeah, why? What would you prefer to eat? Fish or meat? Why? What would you prefer to visit? The beach or the mountains? Why? Yeah. What would you prefer to buy? A cell phone or a computer, right? And what would you prefer to do? To play soccer or to play basketball? And why? Yeah. So we are going to practice for about six to seven minutes and then we are going to come back because we still have more activities, okay? So let's practice, open the class, okay? Open the class so you can practice. Oh, let me share that. Let me give you access for sharing the screen. Yeah, there you go. Okay, guys, uh, yes. After this, I'm going to take the attendance, okay? Yes, Wendy, very good, it's correct. Why, yes. why, why you prefer dogs? ¿Por qué prefiero los perritos? Yes. Ah, yes. I like... ¿Cómo le quiero decir? Mm. Son... Me gustan porque son mm -hmm. amigables. They are. I like, they are. Um, uh -huh. I I like I like teacher. I like them. I like them. Uh -huh. Because. Yeah. Because. They are. They are. Friendly. Friendly. Uh -huh. Okay. And you, Juan. Uh -huh. And you. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I prefer the dogs too because i all my life i 
at at dogs and alone yes oh my god okay so let me move you okay okay thanks Obedient. 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 Mm -hmm. For me, can I prefer, you, Carlo? I prefer the dog to our Why? Prefer beef <laughs> because I don't I don't need fish. Don't eat fish? Really? Yeah, really. I don't like. Any any cane fish? No, any any food to the sea. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I prefer. Well, I like two things, but I prefer. Eat fish. I like the fish, in special okay. salmon. I like salmon. Okay. I I eat a little bit uh beef actually I I don't I don't like too much <laughs> even <laughs> just a little bit just a little bit that's okay yes what would you prefer to visit and why I prefer the mon mountain because it's yeah. very cool the yes. I, I prefer uh, mountain too <laughs> because the weather is um is better. <laughs> it's Last better. month we we visit the the Pital. Oh, I yeah. I I would like to go. Yeah, it's very very yes. very. How do you mm -hmm. say cabanas? The, there are many cabanas. I don't know. Okay. Cabanas, right. Kevin, Kevin's old cottage. Cottage. Cabanas. A place nice. Uh -huh. yeah. Cottage. Cottage. Uh -huh. Or cottage. 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 Thanks. Cottage. Okay, I like the beach too, but um, always I prefer mountain. Yes, it's better than. Yes. Okay, what will you prefer to buy and why? Um, I think the both, because <laughs> both are very important uh, <laughs> for. Um, Daily. <laughs> the daily uses. Yes. Um, I'm, my, I'm my, my. It's necessary. The another. What would you prefer to do? Play football or play basketball? I prefer football. 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 Soccer. Oh, soccer. Okay, okay. Okay. More healthy. It is healthier. It is healthier than meat, but I I prefer both. Okay. What about you, Tatiana? I would prefer uh, it uh, with because it's delicious. Okay, roast beef, delicious. <laughs> yes. Okay, okay. With chirimol. <laughs> no sé si eso tiene traducción. Teacher? Mm, <laughs> <Or> tomato mix. <laughs> no, it's, it's chirimol, right? Yes, it's the name of the dish. So, yeah. Okay, Obstana. okay. Yeah, Okay, okay. And Jorge, what about you? What would you prefer to eat? Um, in my case, I prefer 
beef. Okay. For me, it's more delicious. And eat to fish is more difficult. Um, how do you mean spinas? Uh -huh. Spinal. Spinal? I don't know, no. Spinal is a name of uh, yeah. <laughs> other thing. <laughs> okay, so espinas, you uh, call them uh, spines. Spines? Yes, or it could be thorns as well. Oh, mm -hmm. when, when I... When, Did when you I... repeat? Spines. 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 Mm -hmm. Yes. Spines. Spines, I don't like it. <laughs> and, well, yeah. and then I prefer beef. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher, a question: uh, We can call it meat or beef, or it the same thing? Mm, meat is actually like a general name, and beef is like saying like carne para bistec, right? Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay, and Wendy, what about you? What would you prefer to eat? Um, I I like meat. I like meat. Eh, con, con chimol, ¿cómo se dijo, teacher? Uh, with? With? Chimol. Ch <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Um... I like con cocktail. Okay, with aparte. Mm -hmm. With okay. uh -huh. con cocktailito aparte. Okay. Cocktail de conchas. <laughs> yes. All right. So guys, here I will uh I have sent a link for you to use as a translator, okay? Whenever you don't you don't know a, a word, you can look it up there. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you, teacher. You make it easier, right? So, Wendy, use that one, okay? Tatiana, use that one as well, okay? Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Um, Jonathan, what would you prefer? Okay, so you are done? Uh, yes, yes, teacher. Okay, yeah, I think that we are going to go back to the main room, okay? Let's go back. Let me close all the rooms. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, let me just. Okay. Uh, Jose, what would you prefer to buy? A cell phone or a, a computer? Right now, I prefer to buy a cell phone because <laughs> I can hold it with me to everywhere. Okay, very good. All right. And you, Claudia, what would you prefer to visit? The beach or the mountains? I prefer to visit the beach because I like uh, the water and, the, and see the sunset. Perfect. Okay. Um, let me see if we have, uh, do we have, yes. Juan, would you prefer uh, to eat fish or meat? Uh, I prefer both. I prefer both. both. Okay. Yes, but um, they they can prepare in different ways and okay. taste nice. They taste nice. They taste nice. Okay. Okay. All right. Perfect. And George, what would you prefer to have, a cat or a dog? Is the more difficult questions. <laughs> Is the must. Okay? Yes, because I I I like to to know eh? in, in in the both. I like have <laughs> two pet. I, I have two cats, I have two dogs, I have two turtles in, in prayers. Yes. Oh my God. But I, <laughs> yes, I prefer the cats, teacher. Yes. Okay. All right. So at the end, you prefer the cats. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Very good, George. Okay. And uh, what about you, Eduardo? What would you prefer to have, a cat or a dog? Uh -huh. I I would prefer to have a dog. A dog? Uh, a Why? Dog. 
uh, because he's is is more loyal. Is more loyal. 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 Yeah, that is true. That is true. Mm -hmm. Okay. Perfect. Teacher, yes. I'm sorry, but it's not really. <laughs> the cat is, okay. is is most loyalty. To really? To Why, yeah, George? Because if you have a dog and you go to the other home, mm -hmm. the dog is is here. If okay. if if you give your dog to 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 the to the other people, the mm -hmm. dog the dog to go, and the cat no, the cat you come to home. Okay. It's back. Yeah. Is is more loyal to mm -hmm. cat. Yeah, it's more loyal. Yes. I haven't tried that. Okay, I haven't tried that. If but you, okay. If, if 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 you take a cat and mm -hmm. and go to the corner or the or the other uh, or the or the other side, the okay. cat is back to home. Is back to you if it want. If 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 is the cat you don't like your house uh -huh. alone go this home okay so the cat leaves the home yes if 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 your cat don't like your house if uh -huh. you like the, your company yes the cat leave but uh -huh. if the cat chose you yes the cat chose your um, your company, uh, mm -hmm. the cat stay with you for 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 a lot of time. You know, yes, okay, okay, Jonathan, don't worry. Um, well, now that you actually mentioned that, it could be yeah, true. I think <laughs> that that yes, okay, yeah. yes, because cats, as you mentioned before, they choose you. Yes, and that is true. Yeah. Cats choose you right and dogs probably as as well but not as cats do because if the cat does not like you at all as you said he is not he is not going to approach you right yeah. that is correct well okay you convinced me george okay <laughs> <laughs> all right so i think that you are right all right so let's see now let's put the words in the correct order to make sentences and questions okay so here we have number one, and we all, we already have number one. It says, would you prefer to have a different schedule? The word is schedule, okay, a schedule. Hmm? What about number two? It will be, uh -huh. yeah. Well, I think that some of you posted this one, right? On the chat. Uh -huh. Yes, but uh, I think it's a question. Ah, yes, I, I saw the, the signal. Yes, okay. Uh, wouldn't be uh -huh. better to revise the manual before printing. Okay, yes, very good. So, wouldn't it be better to better revise, to revise the, manual the manual before before printing printing very good what about number three this one is a question right it should go it will be good is we shape shape the dress code the dress code mm -hmm. correct what about number four a sentence. Uh -huh. It will be a good idea to have a training manual for chef. Correct. And number five. Wouldn't it be better to let the manager decide? Decide. Perfect. Very good. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So now let's move. All right. Let's move. And now we are going to work on a different activity yeah so you are going to interview a classmate and how how are you going to interview your classmate okay so if you go to the spreadsheet let's go to the spreadsheet let me get it for you okay Wait one second 
Um, if you go, no. okay, so if you go to the spreadsheet, you will see this link. Where is it? Yeah. So you will see the link that says interviewing a classmate. Let me share my screen. Yes. So right here, this one. Okay. So you click on that and you will see this document. Okay. So indications. As students will interview their classmates by, by answering the questions on the next page. Okay. So we have a role play. So you are going to be famous, okay? You are going to be a celebrity, okay? So we have the interviewer and we also have the celebrity, yeah? So one is going to be the interview and the other one is going to be the celebrity. You are going to decide. If you have um, three, uh, actually classmates, right? If you are three, uh, in the breakout room. So you need one is going to be the interviewer and the other two celebrities because all of you need to participate, okay? If you cannot participate, please stay in the main room because sometimes your classmates are alone, right? Eh, si usted no puede participar en la actividad, quédese en la sala principal porque algunas veces los uh, sus compañeros están solos en, las, en, en los salones. Ok, o no pueden participar y el compañero pues no participa por eso. ¿verdad? Entonces, si usted no puede participar, quédese aquí en la sala principal. Los demás, acepten la invitación, que yo voy a ver quién sí está en el salón y quién no, y voy a cambiar si hay necesidad de cambiar. Ok, so open this link. Let me send it uh, right here if you don't have access to it. Ok, there you go. Ok, so let me create the breaker rooms. Oh, but first, I think that I'm going to take the attendance. Yeah, I'm going to take the attendance, okay, before continuing. Okay, guys. So say present once you hear your name, please. Um, let me see, Carlos Alberto Sa Castro Santana. Carlos? Carlos Vladimir. Present. Thank you. Carlos Vladimir Rodriguez Diaz. Present. Thank you. Claudia Maria Guerrero. Present. Thank you, Daisy Elizabeth Recinos. Daisy. Okay. Eduardo Franco Núñez. Present. Yeah. Thank you, Emerson Ulises Monroy. Present, Miss. Thank you, George Antonio Sánchez Quiñones. Present, teacher. Yes. Thank you, Juan José Herrera. Present, teacher. Thank you, José Bernardo López. Present, teacher. Thank you. And let me see, Karen Janet Granados. Yeah. Karen? Present. Thank you. Carla Sofia Argueta. Yeah, eso, Carla. Present. Kenya. Thank you. Kenya Elizabeth Rodriguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Marianne Scarlett. No? Okay. Eh, Marina Jensi Sandoval. Nelly Lilibeth Andrade. Present. Thank you. Norma Patricia de Arrué. Yeah, I saw Norma. Eh, Pablo Adalberto Abrego. Yeah, I saw Pablo. Eh, let me see. Tatiana Ivon. Present, Miss. Okay, thank you. Eh, Wendy Maricela. Wendy. Eh, I think uh, that I can... Present, teacher. Present. Thank Sorry. you. Mauricio Antonio Velázquez. Uh, present teacher. Thank you. And Jonathan Roberto that you wrote in the chat, Jonathan. Present. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So let me see, guys. Let me see. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so Jose. Okay, Jose, number nine.
Tell me, I can't answer any question that you have. Miss Nelly, what do you what do you do in your free time? Um, <laughs> I spend time with my family. I watch um a series. I do exercise. Um, I go out with my friends. Thank you. Do you play any instruments? Um, yes, I play guitar and self piano, so a little bit, a little bit of both, piano and guitar. And what music do you like? I... Hello, Miss Guerrero. Mm hmm I am okay. Thank for asking. Guerrero. Guerrera. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> this night, we want to know more about you. Sure. Tell me. I can answer any question that you have. Mr. Herrera, what do you do in your free time? I play the guitar in my free time. It's my job, hobby. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to hobby, hobby. H-O-B-B. -B. Why? Hobby. I think. Okay. It's my hobby. Thank you. Do you play any instrument? Hey. Yes, I play the guitar. Uh, guitar is with one R, I think. Yes, yes, yes. Uh -huh. Yes, I play the guitar. What music? What music do you like? I like rock and some alternative music. Okay, that sounds great. And do you have a pet? Yes, I do. I have two dogs. What languages do you speak? Well, general. No, acá okay. no tengo que descargarlo, pero puedo editarlo. Ah, y el dos. Hello. Lo, lo voy a descargar y lo voy a pegar en Word. Sí, lo. Hello. Ajá, esa es la segunda. Tenemos que poner Miss Ramirez. Ok. Hay un question for asking. For asking. Eh. For asking.
<clears throat> I like to go to the beach. Thank you. Do you play any instrument? Yes, I like um, the sax. Do you do do you play the sax? No, <laughs> I like. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's a good instrument. It's hard <laughs> to learn, but it's good instrument. <laughs> okay. Uh, what what music do you like? Uh, I like um um. Rock, a, a Spanish rock. Is that okay, teacher? Yes. Yeah. Okay. 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 Oh, that sounds great. And do you have a pet? Yes, I do. I have two dogs, Chimuelo oh. and Gino. Okay. Okay. Hey, Chimuelo, good name. <laughs> <laughs> My pets. The name of my pets are Princesa and Chopper. Chopper. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, what language do you speak? I only speak Spanish and a little bit of English. Okay. You speak a lot of English. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you, Miss Guerrero. That is, that's, that's it. You are so friendly. Oh, thank you. See you around. Okay. Nice. <laughs> we finish. Finish. Okay, guys. So let's listen to some of you, okay? So let's see. Um, Juan and Claudia, okay? Go ahead. Okay, Claudia, if you want, you begin. You are your interviewer. You are interviewer. Yes. Uh, hello, Mr. Herrera. How are you? Hello, Miss Guerrero. I'm okay. Thanks for asking. This night, we want to know mo more about you. Sure, tell me. I can answer any question that you have. Mr. Herrera, what do you do in your free time? I play the guitar. It's my hobby. Thank you. Do you play any instrument? Yes, I play the guitar. What music, music do you like? I like rock and alternative music. Okay, that sounds great. And do you have a pet? Yes, I do. I have two dogs. What language? What language? Princess and Chopper. <laughs> what languages do you speak? Uh, I speak Spanish, but I am learning English. Thank you, Mr. Herrera. That's it. You are so friendly. Oh, thank you. Thank you. See you around. Okay, very good. Well done. Okay. Nelly and Jose. Okay, teacher. Hello, Miss Nelly. How are you? Hello. I let's say with the conversation. <laughs> uh, hello, Miss Jose. I'm okay. Thanks for asking. This night we want to know more about you. Sure. Tell me, I can answer any question that you have. Miss Nelly, what do you do in your free time? I spend time with my family. I watch um, series and movies. Um, I got up with my friends. And I spend time with my niece. Thank you. Do you play any instruments? Um, yes, I'm... I'm I start to learn um, piano and guitar. Okay. 
Okay, that sounds great. And do you have a pet? Um, yes, I do. I have a, a little doggy and my sister have a, another doggy. <laughs> and oh, a, a she puppy. Has, puppies. She, and... a puppy. <laughs> she, has, uh, she has two cats too. Okay. And what languages do you speak? I'm native. Um, native? I, I speak native Spanish. Okay. And I learn English and some French. Okay. Thank you, Miss Nadi. That's it. You are so friendly. Oh, thank you. See you around. Okay. Very good, Nelly and Jose. Uh, only observation, native. Okay. Native. Yes. Very good. Okay. So, Carlos Vladimir, Eduardo, and George. Okay. I interview. Okay. Interview. Okay. Partners. Eduardo is there, I, I, I think. Yeah, I can see Eduardo and also George. Okay. So I don't know who goes first, Eduardo and then George. Okay. Okay. Solo déjeme buscar donde tengo eso. Okay. Okay, yeah, now I see. Okay. I, I am, uh, what is, what is your role? You're a celebrity. I am okay. in interviewer. Okay. Hello, okay. Mr. Nunez. How are you? Hello, Mr. Vladimir. I am okay. Thank you for asking. This night, we want to know more about you. Sure, tell me. I can ask her any question that you have. Mr. Nunez, what do you do in your free time? Uh, I read some books. Thank you. Do you play any instrument? Yes, I do. I play uh, guitar. What music do you like? I like uh, rock and metal. Oh, that sounds great. And do you have a pet? I have. Yeah, I do. I have a, a two dog. What language do you speak? I speak Spanish. A little, little English. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Mr. Nunez. That's it. You are so friendly. Oh, thank you. Uh, see you around. Very good, Eduardo. Okay, Carlos, now with George. Hey. Carlos, I interview or, or you? you uh, I am celebrity. 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 Okay. Hello, Mr. Rodriguez. How are you? Hello, Mr. Sanchez. I am okay. Thanks for asking. This night, we can to know more about you. Sure. Tell me, I can answer any question that you have. Mm -hmm. Mr. Rodriguez, what do you do in your free time? I watch a movie. Thank you. Do you play any instruments? Yes, I play guitar. What music do you like? I like to ballada rock. Okay, that sounds great. And do you have a, a pet? Yes, I do. I have a night dog. What language do you speak? I speak Spanish. I learn to speak English. Thank you, Mr. Rodriguez. That's it. You are so friendly. Oh, thanks. Thank you. See you around. Okay. Very good, guys. Thank you. All right. Uh, Emerson, Mauricio, and Wendy. Okay. Hey, Emerson. Hello, Mr. Hello, Mr. Ramirez. How are you? 
Hello, Mr. Monroy. I'm okay. Thanks for asking. Uh, this night, we want to know more about you. Sure, tell me. I can answer any question that you have. Uh, Mr. Ramirez, what do you do in your free time? I like a I like play to guitar. Thank you. Do you play any instrument? Yes, I play the piano too. Yeah. What music do you like? I like tango because it's very romantic. Okay, that sounds great. And do you have a pet? Yes, I do. I have a two dogs. What language what languages do you speak? I speak French and English. Thank you, Ms. Mires oh, Monroy. Mm -hmm. That is, you are so friendly. Oh, thank you. See you around. Okay. okay bye. All right, now? Uh, let me see. Oh, uh, can you please sh uh, share the screen once again, Emerson? Yeah. Okay, so um, I have some observations, okay? Uh, what it says, celebrity, I like to. I like to play the guitar. Yeah, I like to play the guitar. Mm -hmm. And uh, no, go up. No, no. Uh, vaya hacia arriba, una más arriba. Celebrity. I like to play the guitar. Okay. This one, yeah. I like to. To play. To play. To play, yeah. Okay. Um, I like to. Yes. Uh, tango because, en lugar de ponerle la O, es una A. Yeah. Because yes. Um después si se fija donde dice yes I do. I have a two dog. No. I have uh, a dog like borrele el two. Yeah, delete it. Y la S también. Uh -huh. Okay, ahí sí. Yes I do. I have a dog. Pero si se quiere poner que tiene dos eh, perros, puede decir, yes, I do. I have two dogs. Pero ya no dice la A. Ya no dice a two dogs. Solo dice two dogs. Ok. Um, and the other observation that I have, recuerde que los nombres propios se ponen con letra mayúscula. La primera. Entonces, French va con letra mayúscula. And English también. Ok. French and English. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Very good. All right, guys. Um. Okay. Let's continue. Okay. Let's continue. And right now, what we are going to do? Uh. Let me let me share my screen again. Well, we are going to take the listening quiz. Let me. Let me get the link. Okay, for you. Let me see. I'm going to. Okay. So if you are on the spreadsheet. We are going to take the listening, the listening quiz. So try to get it right now. Um, if not, I'm going to send it. Let's see. Yeah. Okay, there you go. Well, no. No, it's not like a link. No. Give me one second. Yeah. So that is the link and the passcode is listening, okay? Listening. Let me know once you are in so I can play the, the recording, okay? Um, let me know once you are in, please, guys. Okay. 
Okay, you ready? Yes, miss. Yes, okay. All right, guys. So here we go. Okay, here we go. Let's try to pay attention. Okay. Hey, sis, are you interested in buying some books for school? You can really save money that way. Well, what do you have? Well, let's see. I have a science book called Today's World, and I'm selling it for $30. 30 That's a little expensive for a beat-up book like that. Oh, well, maybe so, but I bought it for 60 Plus, I wrote a lot of notes in the book that should help you with the class, if you can read my writing. What else are you selling? Okay, I have an English writing textbook for $14, a math book for 23 and a novel for only 7 bucks. Uh, hmm. hey, what's up to you? You know, these things go fast. I mean, you have to listen to my advice as your older brother. <laughs> I'll take the English book and the novel. I need both of those for sure. I think I'll hold off on buying other books for now. Okay. Teachers are always changing their minds about textbooks. All right. And what are those books? Which one? Uh, uh, nothing. Wait, uh, wait, wait, never wait. mind. Finding Your Perfect Someone? You're selling oh. it for $40? What, what's this all about in the price? Well, yeah, it's a... It's just a marital relations class. You know, about finding a partner. You know, Mom's always, you know, on me about that. And What does it matter to you anyway? $40? It's a little expensive. Well, they guarantee results. But uh, never mind. You would never understand. What about this one? Introduction to gourmet cooking? Why'd you um, take this class? You hate cooking. Well, um, I have a friend who's into cooking, and she's... She? I, I mean, my... Friends taking the class. I mean, uh, does it really matter? A marriage class, a close female friend, <laughs> oh. a cooking textbook. I, th I think I get the picture. Mom's going to be excited about this. Oh, you got it all wrong. So do you want to buy any of these textbooks or not? Okay, again. Okay, here we go. Hey, sis, are you interested in buying some books for school? You can really save money that way. Well, what do you have? Well, let's see. I have a science book called Today's World, and I'm selling it for $30. 30 That's a little expensive for a beat-up book like that. Oh, well, maybe so, but I bought it for 60 Plus, I wrote a lot of notes in the book that should help you with the class, if you can read my writing. What else are you selling? Okay, I have an English writing textbook for $14, a math book for 23 and a novel for only 7 bucks. Uh, hmm. hey, what's up to you? You know, these things go fast. I mean, you have to listen to my advice as your older brother. <laughs> I'll take the English book and the novel. I need both of those for sure. I think I'll hold off on buying other books for now. Okay. Teachers are always changing their minds about textbooks. All right. And what are those books? Which one? Uh, uh, nothing. Wait, uh, wait, wait, never wait. mind. Finding Your Perfect Someone? You're selling oh. it for $40? What, what's this all about in the price? Well, yeah, it's a... It's just a marital relations class. You know, about finding a partner. You know, Mom's always, you know, on me about that. And What does it matter to you anyway? $40. It's a little expensive. Well, they guarantee results. But uh, never mind. You would never understand. What about this one? Introduction to gourmet cooking? Why'd um, you take this class? You hate cooking. Well, um, I have a friend who's into cooking, and she's... She? I, I mean, my... Friends taking the class. I mean, uh, does it really matter? A marriage class, a close female friend, <laughs> oh. a cooking textbook. I, th I think I get the picture. Mom's going to be excited about this. Oh, you got it all wrong. So do you want to buy any of these textbooks or not? Okay. I will play it the last time, okay? So here we go. Hey, sis, are you interested in buying some books for school? You can really save money that way. Well, what do you have? Well, let's see. I have a science book called Today's World, and I'm selling it for $30. 30 That's a little expensive for a beat-up book like that. Oh, well, maybe so, but I bought it for 60 Plus, I wrote a lot of notes in the book that should help you with the class, if you can read my writing. What else are you selling? Okay, I have an English writing textbook for $14, a math book for 23 and a novel for only 7 bucks. Uh, hmm. hey, what's up to you? You know, these things go fast. I mean, you have to listen to my advice as your older brother. <laughs> I'll take the English book and the novel. 
I need both of those for sure. I think I'll hold off on buying other books for now. Okay. Teachers are always changing their minds about textbooks. All right. And what are those books? Which one? Uh, uh, nothing. Wait, wait, uh, wait, never wait. mind. Finding Your Perfect Someone? You're oh. selling it for $40? What, what's this all about in the price? Well, you know, it's a, it's just a marital relations class. You know, about finding a partner. You know, mom's always, you know, on me about that. And what does it matter to you anyway? $40? It's a little expensive. Well, they guarantee results. But uh, never mind. You would never understand. What about this one? Introduction to gourmet cooking? Why'd you um, take this class? You hate cooking. Well, um, I have a friend who's into cooking, and she's... A, she? I mean, my friend's taking the class. I mean, uh, does it really matter? A marriage class, a close female friend, <laughs> no. a cooking textbook. I, I think I get the picture. Mom's going to be excited about this. Oh, you got it all wrong. So do you want to buy any of these textbooks or not? Okay, guys. Submit your answers, okay? Send your answers. Let me see. Okay. Yeah, I can see that some of you got 100, okay? Some of you got 80s. Yeah, okay. Now let's continue with the second one, but this one is not a listening quiz. This one is the grammar, grammar quiz, and this is about the simple past, yeah? And the passcode is going to be English 2023. That is the passcode, okay? So this one is about grammar, simple past. Once you are done, let me know so you can start practicing and speaking with your classmates in a different breaker, okay? But right now, focus and concentrate on the grammar exam. Yeah, it's about the simple past. Teacher, I I, ha I had to go out a few minutes. I will okay. take after. Yes, go. Go, okay. okay.
Okay, so the ones that I'm going to be moving are the ones that already finished, okay? So you are going to start with the speaking time, yeah? Let me see. Eh, no acepté la, la invitación por error. Ok, no sé. Sí. Eh, When did you finish? No. Okay. No pude ingresar, no pude ingresar, teacher. ¿Por qué? ¿Qué le dice? No me agarra el, el link. ¿El link? Y el, el, cuando, meto la, ajá, cuando meto la contraseña me sale código inválido. Vale, pero el código, recuerde no sé que lo tiene que poner en letra mayúscula. Si lo pone en letra minúscula no lo va a dejar. Sí, que ya lo puse, teacher, pero no, no, no me lo agarra. ¿Y si lo copia y lo pega? ¿Copiándolo y pegándolo? No lo puse. Ahorita. Ok. ¿Pudo? Ahorita, teacher. 
Vaya, me hace saber si, si la dejó. Vaya. No me va a dar a ti. Ok. Quizás eh, ha dejado algún espacio también o algo. No. 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 Ok. Ok. No me, lo, okay. no me da el paso. Ok. So, uh, then... Mañana vamos a intentar, ¿ok? Usted trata y tal vez puede abrirlo y si no, pues eh, no se preocupe, ¿ok? Vale, eh, let's move. Ok, let me see. Would you prefer to be poor and happy or rich and unhappy? For me, prefer poor and happy. And you, Sofia? <laughs> I prefer crying in, in my mansion. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I think <laughs> I, 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 okay, I want to be, um, prefieres ser pobre o feliz o rico o infeliz, e infeliz, Nelly. Um, I prefer, <laughs> I, I think the same um, from Carla. <laughs> Crying in the pool. <laughs> yeah. And poor and happy. <laughs> in Europe. Oh, really? I'd like to study with, with them. And did you travel to Germany or, or did you receive the class online? I'd like to study in Germany. Uh, he, will, I... he will like it. Wow. Okay, would you prefer to be poor and happy or rich and unhappy? <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> I prefer to be rich and unhappy. <laughs> Jamás he visto un rico triste. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Well, we don't know, guys. Have mm. you ever seen a sad people no. with a Ferrari? <laughs> no, actually not. <laughs> so, yes. Who would prefer to be rich and unhappy, right? Uh -huh. yes. Of course. I think it's too late for me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Okay, what are the advantages of working from home? Ooh, okay. I don't know what, what how do you say evitar? Avoid. But avoid. Oh. I don't know. I, I, I don't remember, but avoid. Uh, avoid, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay, you can avoid the traffic, definitely. For me, for me is the is the most advantage. The best. Oh yeah, the best advantage. Yeah. I yeah. I don't work from home, but I avoid the the traffic. I travel by bike. Really? really? Yeah. Wow. How many kilometers? Yeah, uh, it's not so long. I it's five kilometers. Ah, okay. I got there it's in not so far. Yeah. fifteen minutes. Oh my god! Yes, that's so near. 
Yeah. Okay. Hmm, but I think besides the traffic, we are comfortable in home. Yes. We are more comfortable and you can be more light in the dress, in pajamas. If you don't have a video, uh -huh. you can. <laughs> okay, could you live without a telephone? I think we can live without a telephone, yes, but I can. I we can. cannot live without a cell phone. Happy. Okay. Would you prefer to be poor and happy or rich and unhappy, guys? I would prefer to be rich and unhappy. Yes, I, right, of course. <laughs> I, I, try, I try and a lot money. <laughs> yes, that is correct. <laughs> I think that, that is better, right, that being poor and, and, and happy because at the end, if you have money, you can buy a lot of things, right? Probably you are going to be okay, right? Okay. <laughs> Uh, that is correct, okay? So, would you prefer to study in El Salvador or abroad? I would prefer to study in El Salvador because I know how idea what it is experience uh, in abroad. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Could be, right? I miss, uh, uh, I miss, I miss uh, my family. You will miss your family. That is correct. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you, Wendy? Um, would you prefer? I I would prefer I I I El Salvador. Okay, you will prefer El Salvador. Okay, all right. And would you prefer to eat mango or watermelon, guys? I like mango. I would I like, prefer. I would prefer. I like mango. Okay, Wendy, repeat after me. I would prefer to eat mango. Ah, I would prefer eat. Eat to, to eat to to eat mango. Yes. Okay. So here you have. I will prefer to eat mango. Yeah. Okay. And you, Eduardo? I will prefer to eat a uh, watermelon. Watermelon. Because, because it's is is more sweet. Yeah. Anda cerrame que ya puerta. That is correct. Okay. Next. Let me see. What are yeah. what are the advantages? All right, the advantages of working from home. What are the advantages of working from home? Advantages, benta. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. Um. Como. Yes. What no, are the advantages of working from home? ¿Cuánta es la distancia que tengo de mi casa? Sí. No. no. First, What? I think yeah. we can save a lot of money because we don't spend in gas. And you also avoid the traffic. Yes, right? avoid the traffic. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, yeah, the advantages are the positive uh, things, positive aspects something good okay what are the advantages ventajas yeah advantages all right uh -huh. yes you don't spend money right on gasoline right you avoid the traffic that nowadays or, so heavy or or we don't have to buy fast food yes that is correct huh that is correct. Um, and it's more comfortable, really. Of definitely. course, <laughs> definitely. Working from home is more comfortable than going to the office, right? So, yeah. and yeah, well, yes, I, I would prefer uh, working from home in this case. Yeah. 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 Yes. If you give me the option, I, I would choose working from home, right? <laughs> Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
Now, could you live without a telephone? Could you live without your cell phone? Or no? I think that nowadays we we all depend on technology, right? Yes, because uh, about the communication, about the application that help us and something other stuff that we have in our cell phone. Exactly. That is correct. If if we you use if we use correctly, it's a great tool. Yes. If you use it correctly, that is a great tool, as you said. But I, I have I have lived without a telephone. Really? Uh, so, uh, 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 science. No puedo decir en inglés desde que nací porque antes no había teléfonos. No puedo vivir sin teléfonos. Pero no sé cómo decirle en inglés desde que nací he vivido. Okay. Um, you can say I have always lived, uh, or I have always used, right, mm -hmm. uh, telephone. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, that is correct. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, nowadays it's really difficult. I think, right? Describe your dream job. What is your dream job? What is your dream job, guys? work just four days per week and three weekends. Mm -hmm. Which is? Um, my dream job is work just four days a week <laughs> <laughs> and three weekends. I, I okay. think or I heard another yeah. country a few months ago start with that schedule and okay. it work it really work really yes uh, i heard a good um how do you say opinions no uh, opinions and um, feedbacks that is the feedback. word i, I tried to, to really? yes and really? feedback yes yes just four days to work and three days in three free days Really? Okay. Yes, I think that that will work. Ah, uh, but yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> but not for all of the fields. It, pro, yeah. pro. Uh -huh. Yes. That's the inconvenience. Yeah. yeah. Yes. And since all depends on other ones, right? So it is kind of difficult, right? Too. Yes, because some companies from services, they mm -hmm. can't do that. Yeah. Of course, no, right. Uh -huh. Yes, that is correct. All or, right. uh -huh. or other option is make different schedule schedule to different employees. Mm -hmm. Yes, that could work. Imagining mm -hmm. a team work for these days, another team work in another days. That could be also a good option because, yeah, you can distribute like that. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. That could work as well. Okay. And you, Eduardo, what is your dream job? Mm, my dream job is a job uh, and where I can be my own boss. <laughs> okay. Yes. I, I agree on that. And you, Wendy, what is your dream job? My dream. My dream I job? Work, uh, my dream I work English. Okay. Hmm. So, okay. Repeat after me, Wendy. My dream hmm. job is? My dream job is? Where I speak English. We are speak English. Yeah. Where? Where, where I, are speak where English. I speak English. Okay, very good. Next, 
Next slide. Continue with the uh, next one, okay? Yeah, we are almost done. I say in Spanish. Pipián, whiskey. <laughs> I hate. I dislike. I can't eat it. Uber eat. But it's very expensive. Yes. In in some place. Okay. Yes. Depends on your location. The cost is yeah, yeah. Expensive. Yes. Why do you like to dream when you go to a restaurant? Yeah. <laughs> um depend depend what I I order depend. from. Mm -hmm. I order to eat, but maybe a coat with eyes. Um or a meal shape. Yes, is that okay? In, in my case, I I, I drink lemonade. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, I like to drink lemonade or iced tea. Okay. Sometimes cold. Okay. You <laughs> I like to drink um, fruit frozen and uh, sometimes yes. a beer. Okay. Oh. Um, what's your yeah. favorite type of soda? My favorite type is cold. Always <laughs> and sometimes um it's pride or seven up. Yeah, and Pepsi too. My favorite is seven seven ups. Hello. Uh great and fresco. For me I prefer the the orange. Fun in this case. Have you drunk coconut water? Yes, it's, it's yeah. delicious. Yes, I like. No. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Why? When when you go to beach? No. Co? Co? <laughs> when you when you go when you. Ah, oh, the to be beach and the water apply. No, no, no. Oh. I don't understand you. <laughs> <laughs> I have a robot. <laughs> okay. I am robot, sir. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's, okay. Thank you. Finish. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 See you. Okay, guys. So we're almost done with today's class. And okay. So right now, let me ask you, uh, Carla, could you live without a cell phone? Um, I think I live without cell phone, but it's necessary for a job. <laughs> uh, yes. Oh, yes. Right. Uh, we were uh, talking with uh, your classmates and we were saying that nowadays we all depend on technology. Right. So we need to live with a piece of technology. So in this case, with a cell phone. Right. Can you tell me, uh, Carla, what are the advantages for you, right, of working from home? Is more com is more comfortable, 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 and more uh, 
is cheaper? Is cheaper. Okay, yes, it's cheaper. Uh -huh. And save money. <laughs> and you save money. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Nelly, what is your dream job? Um, I would like uh, a job um, that I can learn in every day mm -hmm. or frequently. And... and um and I can help another people and <laughs> go with a, a good salary and free time and free time okay yes. yes I think that that is our dream job right okay so guys would you prefer to be poor and happy or rich and unhappy Mm -hmm. What would you prefer? For me, prefer poor and happy. Poor and happy, okay. Yeah. Okay. And the other ones? I prefer rich and happy. That's not that option, but That's I prefer not rich and happy. <laughs> okay. okay. All right, so, well, I think that, yes, right? So if we had- uh, in, in, in our group? group. Uh-huh. <laughs> yes. Group. I think that she got- in, Yes, in our group, we- We discussed? I have a trouble with my internet. Yeah. <laughs> but in in our group, we we prefer um, crying in our mansion. <laughs> okay. Yeah. We are liking that if if we have those two choices, rich and unhappy, right? Okay, but okay. So guys, right now let's uh, move on and we are going to stop right here just because of the time. Thank you very much for joining today. I'll see you back tomorrow. Um, please, the only person that stays with me is uh, Carla, okay? Then the other ones, you may go ahead and rest, okay? Take care. I'll see you back tomorrow, guys, okay? Good okay, night, teacher. Good teacher. Good night, teacher. I'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. tomorrow. Good, night. Good, night. Good night, guys. Take care. Good night. See you. Good night. Take care, guys. Okay. Carla, how are you? How do you fine. feel, Carla? Fine. You fine. feel fine? Okay. Yes. So, Carla, we are going to have our feedback time. This time is for us to know how do you feel with our, our English classes? How do you feel with the module, with the program, right? But first of all, I would like to know about you. I would like to know about your background in the English language, right? Have you studied before? Is this the first time that you are studying with us? Or have you studied before with us? Uh, basic one, basic two, three, four, five, and six? Or is this your first time with us? No, I study since the module uh, basic one. <laughs> Oh, basic, basic one? one. Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay. So you have an idea, right, on different, uh, I would say, um, type of uh, methodologies, right? So in this case, um, what do you think about our classes? What do you think about the dynamic of the class? All of the things that we cover during our class, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. If you want, in this case, yeah. Okay, so if you want, in this case, just because this is the feedback, and I, I would like to know your opinion, okay, because it's very okay. important. Um, we are going to make like English and Spanish, okay? So, um, ¿qué le ha parecido la dinámica de nuestras clases en este módulo hasta el momento? ¿Qué le ha parecido las prácticas que hacemos, la metodología que se ha utilizado con todos ustedes? Y todo esto. Mm, bueno, uh, in my personal opinion, I like it because I think 
um, talk more in this class. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. It's more dyna dynamic. Okay. Dynamic. Yeah. Dynamic. So, yes. Um, as you have seen, right, most of our class is speaking, right? La mayor parte de la clase siempre nos enfocamos en speaking. Si no es que ustedes van a otro salón, en la clase pedimos que lean, que nos ayuden con los diálogos, con la lectura que tenemos en ocasiones, etc. So, este módulo es intermedio uno. Eh, probablemente el cambio sea un poquito como distinto por el hecho de que es más inglés. ¿verdad? que se utiliza mucho más el idioma, pero eh, es porque ustedes van a ir ya intermedio 2, intermedio 3, y mediante vamos avanzando, los módulos se van haciendo un poco más eh, complejos. ¿okay? Entonces es importante que desde ya ustedes vayan con una buena base para que se puedan eh, como, um, desarrollar y desenvolver en intermedio 2 de una mejor manera que como lo hicimos en intermedio 1. ¿verdad? Porque esa uh -huh. es la, la idea y esa es la meta. Eh, cuando se va a los breakout rooms, eh, ¿ha tenido algún inconveniente o esa dinámica le parece bien? Yeah, yes, because my partner, me han tocado con personas que sí participan. Okay. I, I looking. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yes, I know that sometimes not all of them participate, right? But the good thing is that if you have had uh, students, right, classmates that participate, so that's okay. That's perfect, okay? So what do you think about the listening exams, the listening quizzes? What do you think about that, about the grammar ones as well? Mm -hmm. It's good cool. yeah, or excellent mm -hmm. because I training my, uh, my my ear my ear <laughs> okay very good and carla what is your goal what is your objective to learn english why are you learning english mm, i learn english because i i i going to have a better job maybe okay. yes of course and because i like many many things in english and sometimes i can't understand okay but Back. i love the music uh, english mm -hmm. but, um, uh, always translate and i think it's better uh understand the the letter maybe <laughs> the lyrics the lyrics yes that is correct and okay carla so in this case if you could change right if you could change one thing in our class si usted pudiese cambiar algo de nuestra clase qué cambiaría Nothing. Nothing. Okay. I, I like the class. I like the class. <laughs> okay. All right, Carla. That's the most important part. Okay. So now uh, the last question I have for you. What is the most difficult skill for you in the English language? For example, is speaking, reading, writing, listening. Mm, I think uh reading for no, uh, listening and speaking. And speaking. Yes, that is correct. I think uh, those two are the most difficult ones to master, right? Because, yeah, you know, um, sometimes we need to listen and listen to different uh, audios, right? Videos, uh, etc. For us to train, as you said before, right? Para entrenar nuestro oído, right? That is really important. So in this case, my feedback for you, okay? My feedback for you, Carla, is that um, I really like that you uh, are always on time. You are really responsible, okay? So, and what I really want you to do more is that I want you to participate, 
right? Sometimes probably we feel, um, I don't know, maybe afraid or we don't know the answer, right? Or we are kind of confused, right? But I want to encourage you, okay, that you participate, yes? Quiero que participe un poquito más. Que cuando usted tal vez tenga la respuesta, no tenga miedo de decirla, okay? A pesar que le he escuchado participar un poco, un poco um, de veces, ¿verdad? Acá, quiero que lo haga más seguido, ¿ok? Que cuando usted tenga la respuesta, la diga, ¿ok? Entonces, hasta el momento puedes agradecerle la responsabilidad ¿verdad? que tiene de estar presente en la clase eh, y pues la participación también que tiene, ya que participa cuando es el tiempo de participar, lo ha hecho. Okay, so in this case, I don't, I don't know if you have had issues with the platform. Ha tenido dificultades con la plataforma? Mm, no, no, no. Only I forget the do the homework. Oh, <laughs> the, okay. I think I me quedé creo que en la semana pasada. Creo okay, que. okay. Tratemos de completarlas para que no se nos vayan acumulando, okay? Bueno, entonces, eh, Carla, si no tenemos eh, ninguna otra pregunta, no sé si tiene dudas de algún tema, de algo relacionado con las clases, algo que me quiera preguntar en este momento. No, no, o maybe a review from the, this class because I, I had a work in the first hour. You couldn't. I stay. Yes. I couldn't stay. Yeah. You couldn't, okay? So, uh, in this case, lo que hacemos, um, mañana vamos a hacer un repaso, okay, de lo que vimos ahora. Si usted considera de que eh, quiere también ver el video, se sube el video y yo se los agrego en la hoja de trabajo. Entonces, ahí lo va, puede encontrar también. Sin embargo, mañana eh, vamos a hacer un repaso cuando iniciemos la clase, okay? Ah, okay, okay. Yes? Bye. Yes. Okay. Very good, Carla. So then that was pretty much, okay? I'll see you back tomorrow. Thank you very much. And I hope you Thank have a you. good night, okay? Rest. Take care. Thank have you. Have a good night. Good night. Bye-bye.